Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Muhammad Shah. I'm a manager of academic experience with Kaplan Medical. Today I want to talk about uh, one of the commonly asked questions that I receive from a student is that those students who get the very high score, what strategies they set during the period of preparation. So if you have set strategies, that's good for you. But if you don't have, I would suggest please set up your strategies, certain rules that you must follow during the period of preparation. If you have certain strategies in place, you will learn better, you will retain better, much faster, and you will apply that concepts better in the questions. So what are those strategies uh, that these best students set for themselves? One, the best on the top of the list that I would say is that learn in the distraction-free environment. You don't want to um, go over on the content from the book or on-demand videos where there is a lot of distraction around you. So I would suggest study in the library or in your room where there is no distraction. The distractions can be any many times, you know, sometimes it's a loud distraction, visual distraction, sometimes our brain have, you know, other thoughts that it's occupied. So try to um, isolate yourself a little bit during the period of your review and try to be stay focused, have a laser sharp focus on the content that you're learning. That's the one of the distraction free environment is very good when you learn something. Another one, learn new things. When you are reading something, try to understand what you already know and what else you are trying to learn. Like what else you are retaining from the book, what else you are retaining from the topic. It can apply from the book, like reading from the Kaplan book or watching the on-demand video or attending the live lecture. So anything that you already know, try to find out what else you are learning. So increase your knowledge bank, in other words, I'm saying. The third one is try to learn in multiple ways. Uh, read from the book, watch on-demand videos, um, attend live lectures, or create your mnemonics and find a way, different ways to learn. So that way you will have, you know, multiple ways you will retain. So I would say when you watch the video, then go back to the book and try to read the same topic from the book. When you're done from the book, try to go to the QBank and do the question on the QBank. That's, that's one of the best strategy I would say set yourself to follow along. And third one is the what is the best way to really learn. So when you when you review any topic, especially the high yield topic, I would suggest please go back, try to verbalize that topic into your own words, try to teach, have a steady partner, if, for example. If you don't have a steady partner, still try to verbalize what you learn. That's the way you will not gonna forget and you will understand the concepts better. If you cannot verbalize, that means you do not retain much, you need to go back to your book and try to read again. The final one is that whatever you learn, don't just let it go. Try to go back to the question bank. Do the question on the covered content. If you even will make a mistake, at least you will understand the concept better when you will read the explanation. So I would say, you know, learn and apply. That's the way you will uh, see the progress in your study. Your score will move up and you will understand the concept better and you will not going to forget the topic. So I wish you all the best and if you have any question or comment, leave the comment in the comment box and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.